everybody. Um, welcome. This is the capital planning meeting. We are um, have do. We'll start the meeting with a roll call vote. Gerald Mazikas. Mark Hussey. Natalie Klein. And Teresa A. Moss are all present. We have do have minutes to review, but I'm going to hold that to the end of the meeting out of respect for the people that are here, get here early and have their items to go over. So I do want to uh, get, get to them immediately uh, instead of having to uh, go over uh, our previous uh, minutes. On the, um, oh, I do also want to remind people that the meeting is being recorded. Uh, it should be showing live uh, right now, and you can also watch it at a later date on uh, YouTube. Um, before we begin, I just need to know, other than the Council on the Aging and Facilities, is there anybody that needs to add anything to the agenda or heard of anything that needs to be added to the agenda? I do not. I do not. Okay. We do have on the agenda listed uh, water department. That is not, they do not have to present a capital plan at it anymore. I did not realize that. So that is listed as item 2.1 on the agenda. When did that happen? Is it a new? I don't know. I'm going to find out yeah, more okay. about why. But I mean, I, it was always, they, they always, always came in. They always used their own money. And it was kind of. That was my understanding. Change, but all. I was told by Eric that they do not do not need to present it. But it is on the agenda. Okay. So I am going to formally announce, as I am right now, sure. saying yeah, yeah. it's on the agenda as yep. I, item 2.1. But I'm going to formally delete it from the agenda. OK. So I'm going to list in the minutes that we deleted the highway, uh, excuse me, the water department from the agenda and had no additional items to add the agenda. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So that leaves us with the first item, as I said, uh, with the Council of Aging who are going to present their capital request. And they have one request, which they have wrote, written up. Uh, you should all have a copy mm -hmm. of it in front of you. And we'll let them speak to us about that request. Okay, well, thank you for taking the time to listen to us. I'm Elise, the director. This is Greg, assistant director. And um, about six months ago, we acquired a second van because the need was so great. We were having to turn away uh, people from having rides to medical appointments and errands. So we do have a second van. And our issue is that we have no place to park the van. Um, in the bad weather when it snows and you get snow on top of the roof, it's 12 feet high and it's, we don't have anyone who can get the snow off the van. So we've had to cancel it a few, a couple times. We've been lucky so far this winter, but we've had to cancel some rides because of the snow and the ice on top of the van. Um, what am I missing last? Oh, we did. So Gary Shepard did help us out. We were able to park it one time in the old fire station. Um, and this, Prior to the second storm that we just had, we called and tried to get it parked in there again. But now the fire station needs that spot for a car mm -hmm. and for some from the, some of their equipment that was in the garage. Town garage is now in the fire station. So now we're back to not having anywhere to put the van when it snows. Can you add to that, Greg? Um, I do want to add that unlike the first van, which is owned by the LRTA, Lowell Regional Transport, this one is owned by the town. This one is insured by the town. Um, we are not comfortable putting it out on the road covered with snow on the top of the vehicle. Mm -hmm. We don't want to create a liability for the town by doing that. So that's, that's the essence of the problem here. Um, my understanding is when we were in uh, negotiations to purchase this van, there was also a transportation committee set up mm -hmm. that is has now concluded and i was told by one of the members on from that committee that the plan was to put it in the garage out here mm -hmm. i personally don't know what changed but we're told we cannot put the van there now who says that the selectman or who said that yeah. uh rob the facilities guy is there, is is there, he have that authority? And, well, the tire in there now? 
I yes. don't know. Yeah, it is. It's being it sold. It wasn't decided by facilities. It was decided by the Board of Selectmen. Board of Selectmen. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so I don't know what changed from the original plan. Well, I do know that I believe the car, if the car is still in there. That, I mean, that's the problem. The one that we had for town use? Yeah, but that has gone up for auction. So that may be moving shortly. So if that was to leave, I wonder if that would be then. We know. Make it possible. No, they have other plans for that. Um, they do. I what, believe. <laughs> what is the plan for the garage? I can't follow it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, because I mean, the person that was on the transportation committee thought that Rob's office was going to move out of the garage to the highway department. Well, that's already done, I think, isn't it? No, he's he's out there. Really? Mm -hmm. So that never happened. So, like I said, I don't know what changed. Mm -hmm. okay. The plan was it was going to have a spot out here, mm -hmm. and now it doesn't. Now, a quick question: When they took the stuff out of the uh, highway department moved it into the fire station. Is it possible to put it in there in the highway with the highway department garage where the fire stuff was stored? Minus they that. took the stuff from the garage and put it in the highway department and made the office in the garage. Oh, I'm okay. saying I know currently there's no extra room at the highway department okay. for the bank as we did ask. Then the other that. option that they had talked about, we were supposed to get canopies at the library and at the police station and at originally there was a thought that they could use canopies at the police station but the, the police feel there are, is no space there mm. for all them there as well mm. um additionally you need to um also know there's a second van that's coming into town. The DAV is getting a, a van within the next few months. Yes. Uh, uh, disabled American okay. veterans, okay. which uh, they are also. Now, uh, we've talked about that. And you said it doesn't need a bay in no, the garage. I honestly, don't have any, honestly, I don't have any knowledge of the DAV. Uh, on that, it would be someone, someone else in that. I understand the need yeah. for you guys to have one in the winter for sure. Um, I think it's a shame that we can't find a place well, for it. Yeah, but they also are looking for places under a canopy or under a, you know, uh, a thing. So if there's not room in the garage and stuff, there might be more uh, support for this saying, look, it's not just for council on aging, but we also have the DAV, that it would be better if they could be under, because that also has to, has to be parked on town property. Oh, but so we need easy. space for two vans. So right? now we need space for two vans. Mm -hmm. oh, granted, we were told we are going to be undercover, or they were told they're not going to be undercover. But if you've got a veteran that has has an appointment and you have to come hours earlier to get it up, you know, obviously, no, you know, what the yeah. benefit are you? Uh, so it could help you. I'm just yeah. saying it could help yeah. your, so, your support. So I had a long conversation with uh, Gary Shepard, and he was really helpful about this. So he, he took me out to the highway garage. Okay. Because, frankly, we, we were thinking Sorry about some, that. some kind of carport, maybe at the senior center, a, per, a permanent structure might work. And Gary walked me around out there and showed, showed me where things were underground, which pretty much eliminates that possibility because I guess the road used to be different than it was and there is underground structures yeah. between the police station and the senior center. So we right. can't put one there. And the whole issue of um, architecture was brought up with the design of the senior center. We don't want to just put anything there. Yeah. Um, the, the idea of one of those temporary canopies was discussed. I mean, they're an eyesore yeah. and they don't last. So yeah. we, we really don't want to spend money on something temporary like that. So Gary drove me out to the highway department, showed me a spot and says, what we really need is a metal building placed right here, two bays. We could put both our vans in it. We'd be done. And he says, and I've actually 
looked online at the cost of these, the cost of the building itself, a metal building that would house both of our vehicles is under 30,000. So Gary thought 50,000 was a reasonable cost to, to prep the site and put a building on it, mm -hmm. the labor and all. The use of that land and everything would have to go in front of you guys though, right? Uh, well, the, the cost the of the building and the use of the land and all of right, that. Right, then it have to be but all okay. But the, the van is already, yes or no? I mean, did I miss where, where, No, no, really. no. Where, where you, they, they have a, a site that they're thinking, and, and Mark's thinking that, you know, the selectmen have to okay the use of, of the site. Um, technically, yes, um, but offer. but yeah. it's the town's van, and if 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 the council and agent says this is where it's most appropriate to park it, you know, with some well, most it makes sense. It makes sure. Yeah. Most appropriate would be right behind us, where the other one is. But, okay. uh, um, this has not been discussed with the highway department yet. Okay. It, this was a discussion with Gary Shepard. Mm -hmm. okay. um, so if it's reasonable that we are, would consider proceeding, that would be the next discussion, I think. Okay. To make sure that they're on board with that plan. Okay. And this would take both vehicles. So the one vehicle that's parked here now, is it in the garage here? Yes. Okay. So he's thinking that uh, if they get this, they, mm -hmm. he's priced out this medical, or excuse me, medical, that's my writing, metal, mm -hmm. metal. Build, building mm -hmm. that we could put over by the old fire station? No, uh, uh, out in the highway department. Oh, excuse me. The I knew I had it. Right. The highway mm -hmm. Over by highway. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, this all has to be talked through. Mm -hmm. That this is uh, the price of that would be around 50. Mm -hmm. And then that could house both his vehicles. That would open up a bay in the garage, which I would love it would to say. You would take the DAV van in. Yeah, no, mm -hmm. I'd yeah. love to say that, but you know, that's not how. Well, that, how is, that, is that not why you were building a two bay, or because you have well, two we, vehicles? We have yeah. a vehicle here. Oh, we okay. Put all right. I misunderstood. Yeah. Okay. And we vacate this. Yes. But yeah. the, okay. I'm sure there's 500 people in line before living DAV that will want that mm -hmm. spot in the garage, mm -hmm. but maybe, maybe they'll be lucky enough. Yeah. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Questions? So that's right. your only capital? That was it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we don't require much capital. So, yeah. What do we do? So, yeah, the big thing is I need to, uh, we need to understand, though, what happened to the original plan because you're, I can see where you are on this plan. There's no need for this plan if you get <laughs> your space in the garage. Right. Right. Which and, I, which. Right. I was told was the original, and I think this is pre Eric, pre. Right. But that doesn't mean there wouldn't be still be a need for Do this, but that? not necessarily no, under the counseling agent. We might just have a need for this because we're having more vans coming into the town to help with the citizens mm -hmm. and moving the citizens. Okay. Okay. Would you need electricity to this thing or anything? How would you open the doors? Is it big overhead yeah. doors? Yeah. Yeah. There something are. to think about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We like, probably, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, we probably would. Yeah. So this is probably going to go up slightly. Probably so. Okay. I mean, where Gary proposed that we put it, it's right next to an <clears throat> existing metal structure. Yep. Yeah. I don't know if we can tap off of that right. to save right. costs. It, it's something to think about, though. Yeah. This this may be low. And it, it's certainly possible to maybe split it between two um, fiscal years, too, I, I, which means we'll be living a couple winters as we are now. Right. right. Okay. I wouldn't think it would take a long time once we have the site prepped. 
No, to, to a rent? No, yeah. no, again. Have you uh, looked on and priced these? That's I've, what it's about. I've looked online and a size building, which is, would more than meet our needs, it was under $30,000. Mm -hmm. C so may not be that far off for the a forty. Mm -hmm. uh, erection is that you know? Yeah, is so that it has both vans. Both uh, mm -hmm. COA vans. I mean, if you want to do wanted to do a three bay, we could make it even bigger and take care of more of the town's needs. Mm -hmm. I wasn't aware there were other needs for. Yeah, it's not in here yet. So, but it's getting closer and closer. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, well, very interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't aware um, that you had been to, that the transportation plan had um, you in the garage, and I didn't know that until yesterday. Uh, yeah, I, I learned Greg it yesterday. Just found that out. So I, I am disappointed to hear that it didn't work out that way. Mm -hmm. so, yes. Yeah, I'd really like to know why. <laughs> what happened? I will try to get that information to you. Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> one never knows. Um, <laughs> Okay. Thank, thank, you. thank you very, very much. much. Thank, thank you very much. You. We will Certainly keep you informed. Well, thank you. Yeah. Yes. Probably Are you getting finance? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> thank sure. you. Thank you. Okay. So we have the facilities. We have finance. Right. Yeah, it's six. <laughs> It's going to be, I, we haven't met in a while. I don't know where to go home. I'm not going home. I just, I, I can't keep going in and out. I'm tired. Yeah. yeah. I'm not, I'm not. You know, the town's almost like a cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he wants two new mowers. I don't have them. Yeah, yeah the, the, the mini one. You can't, the one you can't read. I can't, I, don't so have, I can't really, I don't oh, even have it. Okay, okay, I'll read it off. He wants two new mowers. Okay, I do not see the director from facilities out there. Okay. You know, for some reason, I thought he said he was going to see us Thursday. Facilities? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gary's supposed to see us Thursday, but okay. what I will do, why don't we do that? Yeah. I will let me do, do this. I we will move him. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't we call him? See if he's in the building. Do that. He's got I, pest control in here. Yeah, I, well, that's it's why I really good. wanted to. It didn't. Yeah. It didn't look. Correct to me. Surprise me. No, it's under. It's got to be over ten. It's got to be over ten thousand dollars, though. Too many of these things are not over ten thousand. Hmm. Well, I know. try to get this up, and can you try to call him? Do you mind doing that? Or I, have? I don't have his number. No, you just um, if you dial the seven hundred number and oh, just okay. put his name. All right. Seventeen hundred. Seventeen hundred. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I meant. You translate, Terry, yeah. don't you? Sure. <laughs> Oh, why is this not working? Hmm. There we go. Okay, and I'm going to log into the Zoom and bring up the minutes. Eight thousand pest control services for where? Probably a, for all buildings. That's a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Um. The biggest um, problem was there were rats that ate up all the summer rep storage stuff. They had it in like a shed so, outside yeah. the, it was like outside the playground area and all these bats and balls and toys and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they went to do summer rack and they went in there. And oh, it was destroyed, just yeah. destroyed yeah. eaten up. They can get in. Yeah. Yeah. But the $8,000, is that just for the rec department or it must be other buildings? Well, they decided if they're going to do it, they'll do, do yeah. everything. But that should be you know, expensive. Right. And matter started. of fact, I thought it was already done. Matter of fact, I know. Well, I shouldn't say I know. But I thought it was done. Professional services to maintain what? 
like I said, I don't understand yeah. a lot of this. Mm -hmm. So I, I did want to, there, I thought there would be a lot of conversation <laughs> around his, his request. Yeah. I also, I, I knew there wouldn't be conversation with them, but I don't understand what happened to the plan of using. I don't understand what happened with the, the garage. I couldn't yeah. follow yeah. how it, how, how it got lost. It, yeah. And I think he's back in there, but I, I'm not sure. I really, I couldn't follow it. It was like, uh, who's on first? Oh, geez. Routine. Typical. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so I mean, right away, there's one, two, three, four that don't qualify for capital. That's the way I'm looking at it. Yeah, but. I mean, I think we need to do it that way too because we constantly get this. Right. And the rules are the rules, right? Yep. For most of us. Yeah. So I'll ask, um, we'll. Uh, Ask him to be rescheduled to Thursday's meeting. We do have our next meeting scheduled for Thursday. It is posted at Thursday for four, four yeah. o'clock. Yeah, yeah. You, can do that. you can do that. Yeah. And then the only thing then we have left for today, um, and we can. Hello, Mr. Chair. Hi. We can just hold off. We'll just do yeah. them on Thursday. Yeah. And matter of fact, why don't we just wait and we'll do all the minutes at yeah. the Thursday meeting because I'll have them all okay. printed out for you idea. guys to read. Okay. 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 So I'll uh, redo those and we can be uh, next Thursday. So our next meeting will be Thursday, February 1st at uh, 4 o'clock. And I will accept a motion to adjourn. I make a motion to adjourn at 424. I don't know. I, I, it wouldn't go through. Okay, that's all right. Say yes to adjourn. Yes. <laughs> Fine. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, motion. Right. Meeting adjourned.